Yeah, so, so there's some, oh yeah, really, really exciting uh, nutrients to talk about. The first thing I wanted to talk about, because uh, it's two, this, this actually equates to two different supplements that I wanted to talk about are nutrients. Um, but the, the end result is what's called nitric oxide. Mm. So nitric oxide is an incredible, um, it's actually like a gas that's in our system that has a tremendous effect on our overall health and really exciting research on nitric oxide. Mm. So what nitric oxide does, it actually helps to, uh, helps your circulation. It, it helps to increase your blood flow. Mm. Um, and there's two nutrients in particular that seem to increase this nitric oxide. Now nitric oxide is actually, you can get it like actual nitric oxide, um, but it's incredibly difficult to, to how they implement it. Like they will do it under like, like in a, a full hospital on machine. or whatever. Yeah. Um, they actually use it funnily enough um, as treatment for in COVID mm. with amazing success. The but C it word. Just, um, but it just wasn't uh, practical to, to do this on a large scale to mm. help people, but they did have areas where they had these canisters and they, I, mean, I don't know the technical stuff, how they do it, but I know it's super hard and complicated and if you get it wrong, it's a disaster. So very difficult to do on a big scale, but nitric oxide, yeah, it actually has antiviral properties, mm. but incredible for, in terms of, of um, dilating your, your arteries um, to increase blood flow. So for instance, one of the effects of increasing nitric oxide, it's gonna reduce your blood pressure considerably. Mm. Um, so uh, for instance, one of the, the nutrients that you take that increases nitric oxide, they were seeing like considerable drops in blood pressure, five to 15%, which is a That's lot. That's really big, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also it increases your performance because it allows you at the same level of intensity or heart rate, for instance, you can, uh, get more oxygen to the cells. Mm. Um, so that has a brilliant impact on performance. I was going to say, it's got to translate into like VO2 max and how efficient we can take that oxygen out and use it. Yeah, yeah. So for instance, for cyclists, they could actually cycle an extra, but and, you know, to get to fatigue, they're, they're improving their endurance like 12% in one of the studies, which is, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's huge. That's amazing. I mean, that, that really is fantastic. So yeah, they, they started to see this with a lot of athletes. Mm -hmm. um, so, so there's two nutrients that, are, that can really benefit your nitric oxide in your system. And one is actually what we, one of the ones that I have here. And I, I take both and I've actually tried back and forth um, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but essentially, it's beetroot. Mm. Uh, this is actually a beetroot powder. Okay. Um, but if you just literally drink beetroot juice, and that's what some of these athletes were doing, I think starting in the 80s or 90s, or, um, and some of these Olympic people said, oh yeah, I take all this beetroot juice. And then mm. they started, well, what the heck is that? Because these are gold medal winners or whatever. So they started to investigate it and do research. And sure enough, um, by taking beetroot, uh, it increases nitrates in your system, and then that can actually help with your nitric oxide. Mm. So beetroot juice uh, um, or beetroot powder, what I take, is brilliant for increasing your nitric oxide. Now, the reason I like the powder is because if you actually take beetroot juice and you drink, you know, uh, half a liter probably or have whatever. to get a lot of you have to get a juice. lot yeah yeah and then there's a lot of sugar and carbs in it mm. now if you're an athlete you'll probably manage it's it fine. no problem yeah. but if you're looking at it from point of view of metabolic health and you may have a little bit of insulin resistance or something then you may not want to be taking all the kind of sugar and carbs that you're mm. going to get with beetroot juice so that's just going to depend on on the individual um, and something as you know and we should Put this at the beginning of all our videos but obviously this is not for medical advice we are not we are, doctors <laughs> we're not doctors surprise we're, this is just for educational purposes mm -hmm. um and we might crack a few jokes so it's going to be um <laughs> yeah. educational and and uh but, but well yeah. yeah i mean these things are backed by science there's a lot of studies to support what we're saying and also these are things that you know you and i recommend you know what i mean and to, yeah. our, to our clients for, and for that we use health. in our own lives. Yeah, yeah, just to optimize health is what is the angle that we come from. Um, 
but some of the research is fascinating yeah. on things like blood pressure and cholesterol. Well, that alone that. is we'll huge because if you're looking at the effects of exercise on your uh, blood pressure, I mean, we're talking, you know, 10 or 9 points if we're looking at diastolic versus systolic. And I mean, if you're adding, would you say another, it can decrease it by another 10? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's good for just overall health for anyone, but especially someone that's already um, having some issues with high blood pressure. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's, some of the research, like somewhere between 5 to 15% decrease in your, in both systolic and diastolic blood huge. pressure. Yeah, like yeah. really. That alone know. is a huge reason to take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, you got to be careful because if you have low blood pressure, sure. then yep. you may not want to take it. And Again, don't people also, uh, maybe I'm wrong here, don't people take beet juice and beet powder for pre-workout to help with a pump? Yeah. And is yeah. that how this is, the nitric oxide, or is that what it's called? Yeah. Nitric, nitric oxide, oxide. Yeah. is that is that yeah. part of the function? Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, so lowering blood pressure, big one, mm -hmm. um, and just helping in general kind of oxygen throughout your system and then performance so it's going to help both in performance for aerobic type exercise because again at the same heart rate if you think of it like you're almost fitter at the same heart rate yeah um so it has this you great just... effect of, of endurance but also even just with training you're going to get more of a pump so mm. obviously blood flow um which can be beneficial and also in one of the studies, for instance, they could do a lot more repetitions. Mm. So, for instance, if you're normally failing at 10 repetitions, um, one of the research studies is like 50% increase in the amount of reps. Wow. That's a lot. So, very, very good as, uh, you know, taking it before working out. So, anything that's going to increase nitric oxide. So, the two things is going to be, like I said, the beetroot powder is number one. Okay. And the other is, is citrulline. L-citrulline mm. or citrulline malate. So that's very good as well. And they work slightly differently. So it's funny because I was kind of curious because I, I sometimes I take citrulline, sometimes I take beetroot, and sometimes I take both combined. And it's only just last year that a really good research paper that came out that showed that taking both together was much better than either on their own. Mm. So that's a really good study. And we might just throw up a graph of that study because it shows the control group. Obviously, they were just taking a placebo. Uh, taking just the citrulline, um, taking just the beetroot powder, and then the citrulline and the beetroot powder combined. Mm. And that was way more effective. Mm. And they were looking at a number of different things. Grip strength, it didn't have a huge dip, big difference in terms of grip strength, but then for the aerobic, the, uh, they used, I think, the Cooper Institute measure for that. So much better for endurance. Um, and then uh trying to remember the the fourth one but uh i'll think of it in a second but yeah all across the board you could see great benefits and then the two combined was even better again awesome so we can it could stack have been blood those. pressure it could have been the lowering the blood pressure but anyway we'll, we'll show up the graph on this and that research study because that was just 2022 january that it was uh, published so that was mm. a really good study showing the benefits and also just which one, how they work, and, and combining the two is even better. So both citrulline yeah. and beetroot. And I'm also going to link to a really good uh, podcast where an expert in nitric oxide talks all about awesome. this in detail. Because, again, you could go forever on this. But that's just something, yeah, blood pressure, uh, performance, uh, you know, getting way better, more of a blood, uh, like a pump during your workout. And while we're on that, we may as well throw I, in there. It's I like know a, where he's going. A little, a bit, little of a, bit of better performance below the belt. Yeah, yeah. So For guys. Uh, and girls. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like Viagra actually works for both. Okay. Yeah, because you better blood flow in the area for women too. Got it. Is That's beneficial. a thumbs up. So, um, you know, for pleasure, etc. So, yeah, it, it's like a natural Viagra, basically. So nitric <laughs> there you oxide, go. really good for that. Um, so there are all the benefits and there's a lot more benefits of nitric oxide because it does have this sort of antiviral effect. It has a good effect in the microbiome, mm. which is a common theme throughout a lot of things that we're going to go through. Yeah. There's a huge overlap with this. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just think they're fantastic supplements. That's awesome. uh, and, and you're going to see more and more come out. 
yeah. um, of the benefits of nitric oxide. Let's talk a little bit about dosage and timing. So obviously some nutrients don't really matter when you take them. Like last week we talked about creatine. As long as it's in your system, it's okay. You don't have to down it right before the workout. What about these supplements? How much you take and when yeah. should we be taking them? So citrulline you take quite a bit, like you could take, uh, you know, maybe five grams. I think it's like, I kind of go by the recommended dosages. Um, so I'd, I'd have to double check, but roughly speaking, I think three to six grams of citrine. Now it depends whether you're taking L-citrulline or citrulline malate, because okay. the malate is a certain percentage of it. So you might need to take eight grams, for, for instance, of citrine malate, and maybe only five grams of L-citrulline roughly to get those okay. really good effects. And, and this, then this the powder here is 10 yeah. grams, which is just the serving size, yeah. Yeah, so the serving size is gonna be different where you're actually taking the powder, but then how much of the actual nitrate, nitrite, nitrate is in it um, might be, I think it's in around three to 500 milligrams, but I could be okay. wrong on that. Um, but maybe we'll throw that in the notes to give okay. the, the proper Okay, well, we're gonna stick to whatever the recommended yeah, and in that and study as well, um, it'll kind of say exactly, because I think it was like two grams of the, the beetroot and six grams, or uh, no, sorry, three grams of L-citrulline and two grams of the beetroot powders, roughly speaking. But again, we'll, if we need to yeah, we can that, give we'll, specifics we'll on that. throw it up and... on the screen and, and put it in the show notes. Cool. Uh, yeah. Awesome. I also feel like it would be really helpful for guys and girls who are doing like low carb or keto. Um, I feel like it would help to keep some some pump in the muscles. Is that correct? Uh, well, the pump should still be pretty good. Like when it, when you're going low carb keto, um, what I find is that taking more creatine and uh, sodium, you know, that element oh, or something like that. The... Yeah, because carbohydrates will cause you to store a lot more water. Right. Um, which too much is obviously undesirable. People feel, you know, the water retention. Um, so low carb can be beneficial from that perspective. Mm. But, but then if you, if you go too much, then you'll, you'll feel a little deflated. Mm. Um, but it's not necessarily the pump because when you work out, even if you're on keto, you should still get a good pump mm. in terms of the circulation. Um, but I do think the sodium... Um, you need to be more uh, cognizant of that um, and the creatine uh, mm. while, you're, while you're going low-carb keto. 